This isn't over yet. Watch out. Spectre possession. Think you could take on a ghost? That spectre's looking for a body. Standing by. Move it, Red! Hold on me.
I sense a trap. I sense an echo. All right then. Let's check out the trap.
That's enough, Nelly. I warned you. I warned you this would happen again. No. Oh, look at yourself. You're pathetic. I want a divorce. <laughs> You're now Elizabeth Luxford. You are mine. And I'd sooner see you dead and cold than let you leave. What's going on here? Walk away, lad. This does not concern you. I think it does. What do you want to do? Birds killed a man in his own hammer. We should talk to his ghost. Show yourself. All mine. We are the Banishers Antea Duarte and Red McWraith. Whose ghost are you? <laughs> Do we really have to listen to this bastard? Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. At times I'm tempted to agree. Who are you and what do you want with the blacksmith? <sighs> my forge. My wife. My name. All mine. The bastard stole them. Is he telling us our blacksmith's a fraud? That night, on deck, Nelly asked for a divorce. What happened then? We saw what happened. I want to hear him say it. What happened on the boat? Ungrateful. Scheming. Aaron. Oh. Watch it. Red, come on. Distempered. Feeble. A weak woman. Demanding care and giving none. I gave her a life and she stole mine. She had him kill me. That's not what I saw. You've been sowing madness in the mind of the man who replaced you. She can't escape me. Are you looking for revenge? I claim what's mine. She schemed it. He seized it. And I shall have it back. Why are you here? I want what's mine. Stolen away. Pride from my grasp. I want my work, my name, my wife. Your wife is not your property. 
<laughs> she was no one. A drudge who fancied herself a herbalist. <laughs> I plucked her from the dirt. I made her. All right, no. I'll not entertain this man a moment longer. I've had enough of this. Let's go. Now we know why Fortune he... died. You're the bastard, but murder is murder. Nelly and her fellow are haunted yet, and I'm concerned for their safety. <laughs> my, my, my. You again. Pissed. If you need a rest, this place is as good as any. Could this be a treasure map? Looks like one. Maps don't necessarily lead to treasure. Aye, but what if this one does? Very well. Let's look for this treasure that obviously awaits us.
Watch out. Spectre position. Hidden. Bring your gardening tools. No? Moving on then.
think Fortune's ghost is here. Let's end this now. You should have said something. I was afraid to worry you. No secrets, we said. We did. Because this only works if we're together. Right. Together. Do you think the Banisher knows? No. Though I'd not swear on it. He's no fool. I am no Puritan. He must know that at least. Hush. Someone's coming. Banisher! You're back! Mr. McCraith, my man came back and I hear of you to thank for it. Don't celebrate just yet. I know the truth. Your secret is out. I don't know who you are, sir, but you're not Fortune Eaton. Don't be daft. Haskell hired the Puritan master blacksmith, Fortune Eaton. You're none of those things. You're not him. What do you want? I'd like your side of the story, madam. Very well. What? No. How do we know we can trust him? We don't. But we must take the chance. It's time. How did you two meet? Funny story. Best you tell it, Nelly. On the crossing, Fortune was sick. He stayed below deck. When the weather allowed, I would take the air. One night, a voice came from the shadows. I should have run. But something in his tone told me he was kind. I was right. He is as kind as kind can be. We became friends, dearest friends. Companionship on the companion way, how very charming. When you demanded a divorce, your husband threatened you. Was that the first time? It was the first time I'd asked for a divorce. It was not the first time he had raised his hands to me. I loved my husband once. <laughs> I thought he understood me. But Fortune was an angry man. He was angry, and I was in his line of sight. No matter who or what had upset him, the full force of his anger would fall on me. <laughs> Always on me. On the crossing from England, something happened. What was it? I'd had peace and quiet for weeks since we'd been aboard. Fortune was too sick to do anything. I even made a friend. I thought to myself, maybe, maybe this new beginning will be good for us. Maybe you'll change. Before we left, I'd sworn he'd never lift a hand to me again. Well, guess what? We didn't plan on killing him. I swear on it. Do you regret it? Do you regret any of it? What would be the point? And if I did, what would be the point of telling you about it? I'd have escaped him in the end, but I'd have had to die to do it. I only killed him so he wouldn't kill me. The blame is on him, sir, not me. You're not Fortune Eaton. So, who are you? I am. To hell with it. You're right, I'm no blacksmith. I, sir, am the fugitive thief Arthur Carty. But a good man, a repentant, hard working man. If I am those things, it's because you've shown me it's all right. 
I'm doing my best to make a better life. Really, I am. What were you running from? Just the legal consequences of my illegal life. I'll take my leave of you. Then I'll bid you a good day. Again. Piss off. Please tell me you just want a wee chin wag and then you'll be on your way. Please. You sent me to find your husband, Mrs. Heaton. Find him I did. Your husband's corpse rots on the ocean floor, and his ghost has followed you here. I ripped myself of him once. What shall it take to do it a second time? Arthur Carty, the man with someone else's work, someone's name, and someone else's wife. You escaped England as a thief, and a thief you remained. Arthur is a good man. He has redeemed himself. He has been a good friend and a good help for us all. And yet, your dead husband returned to haunt you. Arthur brought fortune's wickedness back to you. Arthur is to blame. I only wanted Nelly to be happy. We killed Fortune Heaton once. Now we'll do it again. Monster! 
devil, murderer, leave me be, leave me.